Okay, so this one is from algorithms and it says a list of n strings, each of length n, is sorted into lexicographic order using the merge sort algorithm. Uh, the worst case running time of this computation is. So we have to find the worst case running time. And what is given is that there are n strings okay and each string is of length n so suppose this is a string like this you have stored a string this is of length n and like this there are n strings in total okay and you have to sort these strings and you have to use the merge sort algorithm so what will be the running time of this computation okay so if these were not strings if you had to sort just let's say integers okay positive integers or some numbers then in that case the running time of merge sort is o of n log n okay that is what you have when you have to sort integers but out here what do you have to do you have to sort these strings so this string is also of length n so when you do your comparison, so basically what you are forced to do, suppose this is your string and this is another string with which you have to make comparison to find the correct lexicographic ordering between these two. Okay, the lexicographic ordering is the ordering that you have in dictionary. Okay, that's the lexicographic ordering. So this is also of length n and this is also of length n. So when you compare these two strings, in the worst case, you might have to do n comparisons, okay? Because this might have something like a, b, a, d, something like that, or out here something like a, b, a, some, some, some characters in the string, okay? So you might have to compare e this character with this, uh, this with this and okay so in, in in the worst case you might have to make n comparisons just between two strings okay while in the case of numbers you just make one comparison because you compare one number with the another number so that's the main difference between the regular merge sort you you see and this case of merge sort when you are sorting the strings okay so what we will use we will do we'll try to find a recurrence relation for these thing as we always do in merge sort because it is a divide and conquer algorithm it's a divide and conquer algorithm so uh, okay so suppose the running time is given by tn okay and then we'll find a recurrence relation for this so what you do in this n is this n is the number of strings you have okay so you have these n strings in total like this so what you do in merge sort you split this into two parts okay so the first thing is you split it into two parts like this okay so and then what you do you have to uh, do the same thing for those two parts okay and suppose when you have those two parts sorted then you have to finally merge those two parts into one string so in that case what you will do so suppose like think like this so this is suppose one string this is second string and so on uh, this is the last string and these are suppose in total n by two strings because you're splitting it into two parts all right and then you have your other part so this is the first part and this is sorted now assume that this is sorted you have done the sorting for your one half and this is your other half okay and you assume that for this part also you have done sorting so this is also sorted so now you have this uh, sorted strings and there are total n by 2 and you have these sorted strings and they are total n by 2 and then you have to merge them so when you try to merge them what is the what can what can you do here so out here that the number of comparisons the number of operations you need to merge them will come here so in the worst case what you will do you will compare this with this one okay and then you will find which one is bigger so you will place it at the end of your uh, so uh, to be sorted array and then you keep on doing this 
So in the worst case, what you will have to do, you will have to look for n minus one strings. Okay. Suppose you have sorted, you have put all the strings in the sorted order, and the last one is left. So in the worst case, you have to do it for n by two these, and then the remaining one from here. So which is n minus one strings. So in the worst case, you do it for n minus one strings, and for each string. Okay, so suppose you compare this with this one, you have to make n comparisons in the worst case. Okay, so this is the recurrence relation you get. All right, and if you write it a little simpler, then what do you get? Tn is 2t n by 2 plus n square minus n. Okay, and now so you can apply your master theorem now so suppose this is your fn and this is the form you get like this a t n by b that form okay and how do you apply your master theorem you compare n raised to log you compare this thing okay you compare this thing n raised to log basis b a and you compare this with fn and you see which one dominates so what will be n log b a in this case will be n log base 2 2 okay so that will be n and this fn is in o of n square all right so now it is the simple application of the master theorem tells you that this tn i'm writing it here this tn should be in o of n square that's what you get from here okay because you have this thing n square term here which will dominate this thing which will dominate this n raised to log b a because this will be just n raised to 1 and this is n square so this will dominate and which will give you the correct answer to be d okay